Hey everyone, I want to give you a quick tip for printing to PDF from Revit. So I have had an issue with this for a while. I've also heard from other people that they have issues with this. When they go from file, print to PDF, and combine, all is good, and press OK. Let's see. Press save. Either there's a couple things that'll happen. Either nothing will happen or like three little bars will come up and it'll t it'll look like there's progress happening down here. And then all of a sudden it'll say ready, but nothing will have happened. And it just sticks on here until you stop. Um, look, I'm going to try it one more time. Just, you know, Adobe PDF of saving it where I want to save it. Um, example, and nothing. Okay, so there's a couple tricks. I have one that's kind of like a longer workaround, but I also just tried this other one that seems to work, which seems very, very, very easy. I'm gonna give you the complicated one first because that's the one I've always been using. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you the easy one. <laughs> so you can tell me which one works and which one doesn't, or if you have this problem. I also don't know if it's maybe just an Adobe PDF issue. I used to use Bullzip PDF and I don't think I had issues with that, but either way. So here is a trick. Come to file, print, all the same settings, but I'm going to come up here to properties. Instead of prompting for an Adobe PDF file name, I'm just going to have it set to documents. And you can choose where you want to have that set to. If you want to have like a Revit file, something that's easy. I always send it to documents and then I edit the name in documents and just drag it over to the file I want to use. I've also heard some people uncheck this, the rely on system fonts. I used to do that, but also I find it doesn't really make a difference. So if you're still having issues, you can try unchecking that, but I don't think it's as big of a deal. So you press OK. Now this is going, see, yay, it worked. Now you'll go to not downloads your documents file and you'll see it right there. So then I'll edit the name, drag it wherever I need to drag it, etc. That is what I usually do. But I just heard if you press simply, which it doesn't make any sense to me, but if you press control P and I'm on a PC, but control P, the normal thing comes up. I'm going to switch this back so that it doesn't affect the trial. And then you press OK and press yes. And then it'll prompt you like normal. Let's see if it works. And it worked. So very weird, but I'm going to just try one more time. Control P. Now that the properties shows it's normal. Yeah, let's replace the file. And it worked. So there you have it. You can do the long way like I have been doing it for years. <laughs> or you can try just control P. And I'm not sure why control P magically makes a difference rather than coming to file print. But try it. And let me know, have you had issues with this? Is this an Adobe situation? Is this a new Revit situation? Um, pretty weird, but let me know in the comments what you think, what works for you. Um, and yeah. All right. Have a good one.